Kyle here from allmeterviews.blogspot.com. All right, so I'm going to do the big Kevin Gilbert albums video. I've done all, whatever it's been, 10 videos. Uh, I concluded that, in effect, he had nine... He's had nine official releases of studio material, stu uh, studio recordings that are his primary music, or he's the primary, he's a primary part of the music, if not his music. So anyway, without further ado, just go through it. So number nine... Caviar, the Caviar Sessions. Number eight, No Reasons Given, his first band that he released when he was in high school, came out in 84. I didn't put the year. The Caviar Sessions officially came out in 2002. In effect, written and recorded probably in the mid-90s, in 95 and 96. But um, NRG, No Reasons Given, from 1984, number eight. Number seven, The Big Collection, it just came out in 2021 from albums from 19, in effect, recordings and albums from 85 to 87, recordings from 81 through 87. Call Me Kai, you know, uh, if I do another ranking someday, maybe I'll, I'll put all the individual ones. If I was putting them in order, I'd put, I'd probably put Sometimes Why number one, Point Blank number two, Decent Exposure number three, and Mixed Bag number four. Where they would fall within his whole ranking on this thing, maybe that's for another video. I'll do an, a, a redux updated version, but yeah, Call Me Kai is number um, number seven. Number six, Nuts and Bolts, the compilation that was released by the estate in 2009. You know, I, I see them as both as, as one, really. I could do them individually. If I, I prefer Nuts probably overall over the Bolts, but it's a consistent collection. I'll explain more about my rankings in a second, but about some of this. So that was number, um, number six. Number five, the first Giraffe album, The Power of Suggestion. From 19, I guess it came out in 87 officially, but you know, it got more distribution in 88, I guess you could say. Um, so, number, uh, let's see here, number, that was number five, right? Yeah, number five. Number four, the second giraffe album, The View From Here, from 1988, or 1989 rather. Yes, 89. This officially came out. I think I've seen it for 88, listed as 88, but. The View From Here, from 1989, the last Giraffe album. And then the top three, of course, 1995's, you know, lone solo album that he released officially by himself, Thud. Which, you know, I'm going to get into something about that in a minute, too. <laughs> Number two, of course, 1990's collaboration with, Toy, with Pat, Patrick Leonard, Toy Matinee, a bunch of other people. Iconic and, and among Kevin Gilbert circles, uh, in the general public, it's still very obscure. But of course, number one, then the shaming of the true, which this is again this, the deluxe package comp CD, which came out. I'd say when Toy Mine came out in 1990, yeah, but um, 19. Uh, uh, Two th the year 2000, you know, recorded in 1995, 1996, maybe 94 at points, other stuff. Um, the Shaming of the True, which we're still waiting on information someday, hopefully this year in 2022. We'll get, uh, um, i showed this many times before, this one, I didn't pull it out. We will be getting the, um, a vinyl and a box set for it. You know, there's so much to this, but... You know, and it's not that weird. You know, most people that are big Kevin Gilbert fans, they consider The Shame of the True their favorite. Uh, the number one. And it, it splits hairs. I mean, I think the three records I have on vinyl here are all loved by most Kevin Gilbert fans, and some people prefer one of the other. Initially, I can definitely say Toy Matinee was my favorite. For a number of years when I was a Kevin Gilbert fan, Toy Matinee was still my go-to favorite because I just considered it perfect, but... Um, it took a couple years, and then I just kind of felt like the shaming of the true was. It lived up to all the the praise that I saw, and you know, hype or whatever. You know, the, the the he pulled off the concept album, the the rock opera, so well. Even though the sad thing about it is he, it probably would have come out a little differently had he seen it. He didn't even get to see it released, uh, and it might not even in his mind be finished. I know Nick DeVirgilio did finish it. He did the the bridge vocals for Image Maker, and um, they did a lot of other stuff with it, and that's why he did it in 95 and 96 and 94 maybe, 95. Um, it didn't come out until 2000, because they spent many years working on it and finishing it, but 
But yeah, it's a, it's a, it's and then the truth is, you know, I did my Marillion rankings and I said Brave is my favorite album of all time. That's kind of boring, kind of predictable. Like you know, your favorite album from your favorite band's your favorite album of all time. It's like yeah, go figure. This is my second favorite album of all time at this point. I can't put anything above it other than Brave. And Brave is really nostalgic. I listen to this more often than Brave. Brave is so bleak, um, you know, and it's it's a little hard emotionally to listen to Brave. This, I do get emotional about, and I, when I saw it live, uh, the Champions of Nothing band play it live, it made a big deal. It was a big deal for me to see it live. I was in tears. But uh, Water Under the Bridge is the, really the one that always gets me on this album. But I, I failed to mention by in the review, I failed to mention two tracks. Certifiable number one, Smash, and they get to beautiful things. I wish I had. Those are the two sort of most out there, in your face, experimental, weird tracks that he that he had success with. Um, both epic in a lot of ways, both dark and sinister, and they really kind of f explained why he ended up doing something like Caviar. They I always felt like those were the closest to Caviar that Just Shaming of the True got, and he, why he probably you know I know he did. I've heard a version of Smash Survival Summer on Smash Live, but. Um, so he was he did that live he before he obviously I mean, he was recording it but um, anyway you know I forgot to mention those and those are songs I really enjoy and they fit the concept of this album they fit the album the flow of this album still really well as dark and as, as sarcastic and cynical as they are but um, what was I going to mention oh so I like I mentioned in the the thud video a, few, what, a week or two a couple weeks ago there's this this guy which I did not revisit in this whole. Kevin Gilbert album video series. I think I will go back and and revisit it again. And you know, I did the, the initial unboxing back in 2015 when I got it and listened to it. Did some notes. I should listen to it again, and I might make another video about it just because there's so much to this. This is three C. This is almost as big as Call Me Kai in some ways. In terms of, in terms of what much in terms of how much is invested in it. I mean, you just look you look at all the track lists and this book. I haven't read through just the credits and everything. Um, because it's three CDs and everything, and you know, big hearts on this. But I, I think I may try doing that. The other thing I, I should mention, I mean, of course, there's I want to make the video about the songs crossover from Kevin's. I may do a live album slash uh, extra stuff, stuff like the the giraffe, Lamb Lies Down Broadway thing from Prog Fest, and we're talking a little bit more about that, and the Toy Matinee live album and the Toy Matinee acoustic. I may go over that and do another video, just like one other hodgepodge video. But then also to remind, just to bring it up and everything, a little house cleaning, um, other than any other Kevin Gilbert stuff that will come up. But I did, I'm did. i glad I finally threw this Kevin Gilbert video series, and I did the uh, the album video series, and I did the Marillion one. I want to do more of these, I think, if I assuming I do have the time. But I did start the Deer Hunter uh, one, and I never finished it. I did the first three albums, and so I I will look to get back to doing that. Um, so even though, because I was doing the color spectrum, the color spectrum, and I got the, the compilation right here, is a lot. Um, but um, yeah, I think I should try to revisit that and so re re revisit that, re return to that, and, and try working on the rest of that. Um, and I'm, I can say that as far as my other stuff goes, like music-wise, of course, there's stuff coming out. We got ours is coming in town. We got a Team Me album coming out. We got a War Paint album coming out. A lot of stuff's been updated recently in the last few weeks um, that I haven't talked about on video. I've done it on social media, but and of course I mentioned the Expanse. Um, I'm only about four episodes left, and I'm making the sci-fi space list. So I got at least a couple videos coming up. And Expanse basically review my take, explanation, um, and then also. Um, I'll, I'm gonna, I want to do some kind of sci-fi shows, sci-fi shows set in space. I also may do some review videos of some of the movies that I haven't seen that I want to start. I want to catch up to see, like The Matrix Part Four and some other stuff. So, but anyway, so thank you for watching. If you're really a big, big Kevin Gilbert fan, please give me your top nine or top thirteen or whatever, or even top five if you don't have know all the albums. How do they rank for you? Um, and uh, what was I, I, I thinking about? Oh, as far as what Kevin, other Kevin Gilbert activity. Oh, I'm gonna de I definitely will share this stuff on social media. We're gonna the the long playlist and everything. And I, I the other thing about those playlists is that I don't think that they're done. Even though that I did all the Marillion album videos and the, the review and the live stuff, 
if I get a new Merlin video, I may as well just add to the playlist on YouTube. So um, the same thing with Kevin. These Kevin Gilbert videos I've been making, I should I should actually take some of the old ones and put them on there too. But um, anyway, but thank you very much for watching. Any Kevin Gilbert fans out there, uh, we'll see you next time. Kyle here from allmeterviews.blogspot.com. I just wanted to maybe add one more thing about that. Like, I, like I'm going to resume the Deer Hunter um, vi album video series. So, but after that's done, i got to think of what else I might be doing. Um, other than I've been talking about the playlists, the, the year annual playlists, and even the albums of the year lists. Um, but what other bands would make sense? I mean... Do I want to keep it secret or just get... I could just throw some names out there. The likes of... I, instead of doing like stuff I haven't covered necessarily, maybe I'll just start doing these for some of these other bands rather than just do a top 10 rankings album. Just do the video series. So people like... Bands like Fate's Warning. Um, Rush would take a lot of work, unfortunately. It's a lot of... Well, I might consider doing Rush, too. Um, and, um, you know, some others. Zeppelin, maybe. Led Zeppelin. Um, the uh, likes of like Hours and Dredge, and um, yeah, I could. Those would not take that long to do. So some of those might be in the in the works in the year twenty twenty two, and beyond. Um, so a lot of it's the names that I've talked about. I could even do mini ones for like Ocean Size and um, Mew. You know, and I already did a Mew video, but um, I'm not sure. I may just do a ranking video for some of them rather than talking about each individual album, but. I don't know, it's going to be a case-by-case -case basis, but I think, yeah, like Fate's Warning, maybe Dream Theater as well, um, and if I have, you know, Rush would be another one that I would, to think about at least, so, and I might make rankings videos of bands that I don't even know and are not fans of, not familiar with their whole catalog. I could do a Jethro Tull list, and I would just do all my favorite Jethro Tull albums, I'm not going to include the other ones, so, um, but anyway, just, just, a, just a little more slight announcement about, you know, what's going on with the success or lack thereof of these sort of album video series that I'm doing. Rather than everyone just does an album ranking, I want to do the album video series, which is a little more thorough. Even though it takes more time, it's more satisfying after it's over. At least I find it is. So, But anyway, yeah, again, so thanks for watching. You know, Hopefully some people are looking forward to that stuff, and we'll see you next time.